Hey guys, in this video I'm going to talk about uh, how to build a more complex uh, layout with the page builder of course. Now um, I will ask you to bear with me because I will just uh, improvise uh, and uh, just uh, mostly use the um, elements that uh, basically structure a complex uh, layout so let's just uh, log into the backend and I'm just going to refresh the front end because I usually I usually use uh, this uh, top bar of uh, WordPress so let's just start by creating a new page I'm going to call it trying to build a complex page I just enable the page builder I'm going to publish this page and I'm going to edit this page with page builder and basically uh, access the front end so right now as you can see it's basically looks like it's broken but it's not it's actually by default um, as you can see behind the header right here there's actually a section or a column published there an empty one so I will just try to uh, get started and adding uh, by adding uh, uh, new sections, new columns, and uh, elements. So let's see what uh, what we can do. So I'm going to add a custom subheader. To access the option bar right here at the top. Uh, usually it's a bit harder because the header is over the custom uh, uh, subheader I'm just going to hide the header with this uh, tool right here and I'm going to let's just play with some options right here I'm going to add an image I'm just going to ah. hmm. I let me just pause the video and fix the problem right away as it's actually my fault as I've tried to d do something that anyway be right back yeah back I uh, basically uh, replaced the images with the ones that are located uh, in the actual demo um, as you can see unfortunately they're uh, pixelated we're going to find another solution to add uh, normal images but just uh, uh, free uh, with a free license Th these uh, unfortunately we cannot provide them into the uh, dummy data so I s just said I will add um, a background image and I'm going to insert this one I'm going to say no repeat somewhere center top As you can see I just saved the element and it looks funky with this uh, purple then I'm going to continue adding a section and now by um, by complex I actually mean something like um, content content 
on the left and the sidebar on the right but the content right here on the left should have uh, lots and lots of um, other um, how should I say uh, elements so I'm going to resize this one to nine columns I'm going to add another column and I'm going to drop it here but by default the column has 12 columns and I would just say um, three so they can be on the same row and have uh, in total 12 columns great so now let me add a sidebar right here by default it's uh, the default one is uh, selected so no change at all and now if uh, you add let's say a call out sorry a call out banner or actually let me just save a few elements from uh, the hum home page and use them into the one we need I know I'm a bit lazy save these as well circle text box element and this one too it'll be much easier than to just add uh, new content so uh, this one is an image box okay like I said I'm just improvising so uh, bear with me great now I'm just going to publish and hit refresh because I want this uh, saved element um, to be refreshed by default it's not refreshed okay so now um, what you're going to notice as soon as I add this element is that it's basically stretched onto the whole um, onto the whole column so if I want something for example to add here let's say I'm just going to resize this to 6 and I'm going to let me just uh, duplicate this one and let me just delete this one and add a circle text box right here and now as you can see okay there in total they have uh, 12 columns but we have a big problem right here there's a lot of uh, white space and um, for example if you add if you want to add a column for example let me just try adding a column as you can see I cannot add it here in this zone only after this one right here or like I said at, here at the bottom so unfortunately it cannot be added here in this position right here now uh, like I said this is a more complex layout actually it's not that com uh, that complex but um, probably for our page builder it might be so let me just uh, delete this one this column and I will switch back to nine columns and I'm going to delete this one so okay we have an, a clean uh, column and 
the key for a complex uh, layout in uh, Kalia Steam with this page builder is to add a custom container. This is the key element. Okay, as you can see, it's uh, gray. Its color is gray, and it's basically. I know it sounds stupid, but it's a column inside a column. So let me just get back to the uh, saved elements, and I'm going to drag this one right here, and I will just simply duplicate. I'm a bit lazy. By nature, I'm a bit la lazy, and I usually clone stuff rather than just starting over and over and over. So I'm going to remove this one, and I'm going to resize this to six and six. As you can see, now there are uh, two rows with two columns and one. So I'm going to. Um, I'm going to pick the image box and let me just duplicate it again and I'm going to drag this one right here I just duplicated the element okay great so if you want you can play with this as much as you want but for the sake of the I don't know I'd overall design just to look good Okay, so moving on, uh, I will continue to clone the container of uh, this one right here. And for example, um, I will leave it like this and again clone it, but I will remove the image box and add a circle text box. Okay, and um, now let me add three. But first, I want to have a full stretch one because let's say I want a spacer. Yeah, right here. No, 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 no. I will add a separator. Okay, now moving, moving on, I will go lay the separator and have uh, three uh, equal uh, columns and I will add the service element. Not sure if it mm, mm, doesn't look too good, board, but let's just go. Let's just leave it this way. Okay, so now basically, as you can see, I'm filling this uh, this uh, content right here, and uh, of course, if you want to, there are settings for the custom container right here, background image, color, and so on, padding, border, and others, but. Um, this is basically how you should I, I usually don't recommend adding a custom container inside a custom container it's not usually recommended so um, I really don't see the purpose of adding it so I think it's just fair enough to just clone and just resize them if you want to I don't know uh, separate things just add a separator or a, simply a, a spacer element and as you probably seen if I clone this one it'll be no not this one sorry 
I'll clone this one as you can see it goes right beneath but if I uh, make it full it'll stretch and go after this one too and pretty much you can achieve a, a gradual I don't know how to call it uh, like a grid of uh, elements as you know uh, this uh, this uh, element I mean the whole team is actually based on uh, bootstrap and it's uh, awesome uh, framework of uh, managing the grid and uh, because of course you want to look uh, you want you want your website to look good on mobiles too so this is basically the way to go with a grid with a specialized grid for um, custom uh, breakpoints and custom um, uh, layouts for uh, even mobiles dedicated so um, I'm not sure if I explained well or if I missed something but um, basically I mostly presented the custom container element it there's also a video dedicated to this element with its own uh, options but like I said um, it's pretty useful when uh, and in handy uh, when in need for example let me just provide you another example this right here would have been a bit uh, harder to achieve for example if I edit this page with a page builder and quickly scroll as you can see we have a custom container right here and we have a 12 column we have an 8 column and a 4 column for sized column and yeah not sure how to call it so here I've just added an element here uh, an element and here an element so it's basically one two three all in this custom container which itself is located inside a main column I know it looks complicated but it's not it's actually very simple you just need to get used to it just try to adapt it and uh, um, learn its uh, logic so that's about it if you have any questions feel free to ask me I will try to make a video about it and um, also if you have troubles don't forget to subscribe to our support forums and my colleagues will uh, will assist you there so thanks for watching and see you in the next one